Hi, how's it going? I'm Malachi Greb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation, and we have Emma. Emma, what? Lynn Sue Greb. All right. teach you guys or actually we're going to teach an eight-year-old how to program a fanic robot so so the so the topic of today's video is we're just going to do a quick simple generic robot program and kind of show you guys the structure and really just how to navigate through the teach pin a little bit while creating a piece of code all right go ahead and open up your teach pendant up there top corner button right there right there Oop. okay okay now hit your select button right there so we've already created a couple programs to make this a little bit faster uh, at the end of this we'll create one program just to show you how to create a program so if you need to uh, matter we'll just do it right now hit create okay we're gonna go with the, the bottom options right here. Yep, options and keyboard. We're gonna hit the keyboard button down here on the teach pendant, go ahead. And we have used the underscore, so shift underscore, to create the, uh, the program name. And the reason why we do that is so that all the programs are organized together. Now you can put a one in the front or a zero or something like that and uh, that'll keep all your programs organized right next to each other in, in one big chunk now Some people don't like to do it But we like to do generally all of our code like that so that way every code that was written by elite automation We we have it all chunked together. So then we're just call this one test T. I'm just gonna make this a little faster. Then we're gonna hit the enter button and we're gonna hit end and boom there you go We've created a program now, I do want to mention this, that if you have any spaces, it won't let you go on and you'll have to go back and make sure you take any spaces out of the name of the uh, program. You might use an underscore or some other character. So we're going to go select, go ahead, and let you take back over again. So we're going to start off with the main program. Okay, click the main program, okay, enter. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a generic structure with instruction call. So this is how you call a program. Call program. Okay, and then we're gonna call home first. There you go. Alright, now we need to go. We're gonna navigate with your arrows right here to the end. I go edit command. Yep, add a command. You're gonna do one insert. insert. Top one, one insert. Okay, let's ask you how many lines do you wanna insert? So we're gonna go ahead and do 10 lines. One, zero. There we go, one, zero, and then enter. Okay, good job. So you see we created 10 lines of code there. All right, now go down to like line three, that's fine. Instruction. Instruction. Now this is where we create the loop of the program. Instruction, five for jump, jump label. Yep, and we're gonna do a label first. Yep. Okay, and we're gonna call this one label 10. You gotta call, hey, you gotta do your number 10. Hey, 10, enter. Okay, now go down to the bottom of the code at line 11. Instruction. So now these are gonna make up the main loop of the program. So the home would also be an init part of the program. Uh, almost every program needs like an init. So like the first time you start the program, the first time you run the program, it runs through a piece of code that will never be ran again. So this might be an init program or a home program. Uh, but generally the 
it's an init program that does more than just home the robot. So it sets uh, different bits to initial states, uh, which we'll talk about in further videos. So go ahead and do a jump label. Jump label again, nope. Go back to 11 again. There you go, instruction. There you go, jump label. They want a jump label. Yep. Nope, that's label. Jump label. Yep. And give it a 10. Okay. Enter. Good. There you go. So now this is your loop. And the reason why we went with, went with a 10 here uh, is because whenever we structure our code, everybody's code will be different. But generally, we will use a 10 for the beginning of the program and then if it's like a 50 it'll be like the middle of the program it's if it's like a seven then you know it's like in the the bottom quarter of a program and that's how we know as a company that anytime you see jump to a label uh, whatever the label number that it's jumping to is roughly where it's at in that program <clears throat> and that kind of helps with like the organization and being able to read code that's a very important thing as you learn to program robots and whatnot or any type of code for, for that matter. Okay, go ahead and go to like line five. Yep, instruction. Call, call program, underscore pick. Pick, P I, yep, there you go, good job. Now go to like line seven. Instruction, instruction. Program, call program, and then place palette. Okay, now go ahead and do nine if you want. Instruction, call program, call program, underscore test. Yep, boom, there you go. All right, so here we've created a generic program. Let me grab the mouse real quick. Um, the test program, obviously a generic one. Let's just say we're doing like an inspection test. Maybe we're gonna pick a product, we're gonna place it on a pallet, and then after we place it on the pallet, we need to do an inspection to make sure it's on the pallet appropriately. Or maybe we're, we're testing the label to make sure it's the right part number. Or maybe we're testing to see if we're running a new part number after that pallet, so that, that way maybe the pallet leaves the cell. <clears throat> just a generic uh, thing to add. Now. So this code here is, is an example of code where the robot is the master. And uh, what that means is basically the robot is in control of its different calls. All the programming resides within the uh, robot's code. So as you can see here, you're, you're just calling a home, there's no input to it. You're calling a pick, there's no input to it. You're calling a place, there's no input to it. You're calling a test, there's no input to it. And then whenever you get down here to jump to label, it's going to jump right back up to label 10 right here. And then it's going to run it again. Now, if you cycle stop the robot completely, do a function one abort all, it'll start at call home. So that way you can do whatever home program. Now, we're not putting any motion with this program. You'll have to hit that subscribe button and check us out for one of our next upcoming videos where we'll start putting some motion in here and we'll start showing some different examples of ways and structures to write code. Uh, thank you guys for viewing. Should they maybe come back in next time? Yeah. All right. Catch you on the next one.